Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today I'm going to try and help answer the age-old question of, what should I draw today? And as you've heard in a number of the other videos, the first go-to answer I have is, well, just draw still life. And I absolutely stand behind this. Something academic and simple is the best way to just work on your technique. But sometimes you want something with a little more flair. Maybe you want to work on a portfolio piece. And if this is what you're after, I'd suggest giving yourself an assignment. Because once I started working professionally in the game industry, I no longer had to ask that question, what should I draw today? Some boss or art director is always telling me exactly what I need to draw. And there's some nice relief in that. You have a limited set of restrictions to work within, and you have to be really creative inside of those boundaries. So go ahead and do that for yourself. Give yourself an assignment. What about designing a book cover? These are all different official versions of the same book cover. Over the years, it's had a lot of different appearances. Doesn't this just get your mind going? How could you do it differently? So here you have a seemingly very narrow design challenge, the specific book cover for an existing book. But once you start thumbnail sketching, you'll realize there's tons of ways you could go with this. And if you're anything like me, once you have a few limitations, or even a lot of limitations, something sparks the creativity. All of a sudden you're not faced with a big scary white canvas or infinite possibilities, you have one specific assignment. Then it's just up to you to decide what cool things you can do within those boundaries. And if what you want to work on is character design or creature design, well I think one of the easiest and most exciting ways to get the ideas rolling is to just do a redesign. These pieces are an awesome example of this idea. These are the Star Wars characters seen through the lens of steampunk. So you can tell they're still Star Wars characters, which are very familiar, but at the same time they have a different style completely. This is a great exercise for any artist, especially if what you want to do is go into creature design or character design. And really you can apply this formula almost endlessly. Take something that you're already familiar with and add in some new variable. Change the time period. Change the culture, make the characters older, make them younger. Really all you're doing is giving yourself some artificial guidelines in order to get your creativity rolling. So really if you're looking for something to draw and you're not professionally employed as a concept artist, that doesn't mean you can't pretend you're a concept artist. Give yourself an assignment and start churning out ideas. Bottom line, you no longer have the excuse to say, I don't really know what I want to draw today. So get working. Have fun, guys. Thanks for coming to the site.